and through this anatomy 101 discussions i'm going to utilize my body and different bones of my body to explain anatomy for you so let's begin hello everyone let's talk about mandible anatomy today and this is my friend lobo and we are not going to talk about the rest of its body we are going to talk about this and particularly the mandible here so sorry lobo so i'll put it uh, like this and this way we can understand and talk about the mandible quite easily so remember mandible is uh, the lower jaw bone and this is the only bone uh, so this is a normal way so lower jaw bone and the only movable bone of the skull so rest all the bones that are present in the skulls you can see they are in, uh, not possible to move but this is the only bone that is possible to move so this is how we can talk and chew and all these things are possible so this is the structure of the mandible quite clearly visible from this angle so let's first talk about the parts that are present in the mandible uh, we have three different sections here we have three sections so what are the sections out there we have uh, the body this part is the mandible body this is body remember and this part is known as the angle this is the angle and uh, this part is known as ramus so ramus body and angle so ramus and uh, body are connected by the angle together in the middle now apart from that what else we can see from inside uh, i think you can see a structure particularly where which is known as the foramen mandibular foramen the opening for nerves and blood vessels that that provide nerve impulse and blood vessels to it <laughs> this is the dislocation of the mandible so this is the normal way uh, to look into it now what else we uh, know about the mandible structure here we have processes so what are the process that we know we have two separate processes you can see here these are the two process this is process one this is process two two separate processes this is known as the coronoid uh, process and this is known as the condylar process so you see the the difference between the two condylar process kind of round edged and the coronoid process kind of uh, sharp edges so coronoid process and we have condylar process both of them coronoid process is the projection for muscle attachment and the condylar process articulates with the skull uh, so it connects it to the skull here particularly you can see it's connecting to the skull here this is the condylar process and it connects to the skull to form what is known as temporomandibular joint so this is known as temporomandibular joint and there are some defects related to this joint i also had this problem uh, earlier regarding this so uh, so what is the articulation this temporomandibular joints articulated to the skull that's it and rest is that the body structure that we know here the body is remaining it's connected uh, to all the tooth that we know right and if you talk about the attachments there are muscles attached here the muscles are needed for chewing mastication and the facial expression so many muscles are out there for facial expression you know the whole world and in bigger industries are going for this but actually in reality core deep down you are this only nothing else bare minimum this now if we talk about uh, the clinical significance then there we have this temporomandibular joint disorder or tmj and uh, this cause jaw pain and dysfunction and this pain sometimes you know uh, when you speak uh, for long hours there will be pain if you don't speak for long hours stop there for long hours there can be pain related to that this issue is there i uh, am a sufferer for this issue then there are fractures possible of fractures of mandible is possible and can occur due to trauma this fracture is possible you can see here uh, that these are uh, these are the small dot this these structures are quite common out there right the portions uh, we we say that the foramen mandibular foramen opening of the nerves and blood vessels that comes there and if you talk about the function essential for a chewing biting speaking uh, and supports the lower teeth so mandible has the lower teeth obviously not the upper teeth is related to the rest of the skull but the mandible carries all the all the lower teeth out there and uh, it contributes to the facial shape if you see that this is a normal this is not a normal shape okay if this happens like this the the whole shape of your of the alignment of your teeth will be different the shape of your face will be different if the alignment is something like this due to accident let's say a trauma or injury the facial shape can be altered you can see that the facial shape is dependent on mandible that's why it's a very important structure if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get more videos in future for free